In the next hour I'm going to have a go at uh, creating a virtual tour using this um, new-ish uh, tour creator. Uh, the reason I'm recording this video very very quickly now is that to get started on this tour creator we uh, throw in a load of 360 um, pictures and sound and voiceovers and stuff like that. Now the thing is that the reason I'm recording this video is because I have used a ton of 360s in the past few years including this uh, story sphere project which was been ongoing for a long long time where you do a single 360 picture and then you put in some immersive audio around the outside um, I've already um, been out this morning just had a little look at recording or taking should we say eight uh, 360s because uh, I want to try this out and if you remember or quite honestly there was this thing called a tour builder from Google Earth and all I can say is for me you know you got through it once or twice and it was a nightmare and this was actually um, using a bit of earth backed story type things and they, it was hard is and that's why I'm making this video because although we're looking at um, a kind of a, a Google IO thing that came out that said you know what's this May the 9th look you know um, wow everybody you know let's use teachers and schools which is great because that's you know my background and Google expeditions my tip on this next video for me personally is when I start to welcome tour to tour creator there you go look click new tour the time right now um, okay I might have some breaks and stuff is about 318 UK time and I want to throw this sort of stuff in and see what happens so let me stop now let me come back when I've done it so here we are again exactly one hour later give or take um, at 418 or so now the thing is that I've finished the tour I think Springfield Hall Park and local nature reserve with eight scenes um, I'm going to look at it by going to a different tab because I know it's open it says view tour I think I've done quite an okay job sorry I'm just stuttering my words there because I think I've, I've gone fast but I've got involved with it as well I'll, t I'll tell you one of the things that uh, before we start the tours no notice where this is on a hold on let me just turn it around here I'll tell you what let's, let's just walk through this so, so in other words there's eight scenes here so I've already um, taken the scenes from Google Photos, downloaded them to my hard drive and then uploaded them um, to this tour creator and that's the first one. What you'll notice it, it's allowed me to do is a piece of text along the bottom and if I click this little um, information then it comes up with and when I put a few words you can literally write so there's a title a few words and then it says two signs here with a picture now the picture that I've included actually is see this this little area with a tree here there is if I click that what opens up is a picture of you know that that path that goes up just at this side but I just wanted to put it there and the reason I'm hesitating a bit is because I've also included a Chilmer Valley local nature reserve as part of local guides and I've personally put up there at least about 120 pictures so I can pick and choose um, from those pictures so that made this one quite a bit more involved what you're actually looking at at the bottom in the tour is the way that this um, hill goes down and there's a, a footpath and a cycleway here and then it goes up the hill um, where I went and you can physically go into Springfield Hall Park with a football pitch with with an outside to it so what I'm getting at is that in the tour and it was you know pretty um, okay thing to do quite honestly is that what we've got is we've got one two three four five along the bottom and you can actually drag these to reorder them or you can click the three buttons and you can oh there you go look move it left move it to the right or delete it then if I go back and over the right hand side I can add a point of interest if I click that I wonder what that does yeah it, it actually puts in the point so I can actually let's say you know main football pitch so if I did physically did this with you then I can put it on there and I could say football pitch and then you can see that it's got a picture so the, the bit I, I did get actually caught out on here is you get 50 characters for the title but then you can actually describe it in another 300 I did get caught out on that because I thought the description was the title and that was a bit um, a bit weird shall we say move it up move it down delete the point of interest so it can be quite um, 
involved with this because if you actually click it which says football pitch then you can add a picture and then the picture you can um, add in of course to drop one in and then you actually position that picture wherever you want it to go and it kind of like goes in the sphere it's a bit difficult to explain in other words it's a bit like uh, looking at the inside of a balloon or something or a glass bowl and then the picture looks quite nicely um, in there so I'll tell you what let's um, go up to uh, I've got too many tabs open here haven't I so let's close that down and keep moving along so I've already talked for three minutes so in other words um, here is my number one then I go over to number two, which is, as I just said, the, the one with the picture uh, of the football pitch and the clubhouse. Then I go over to um, another you know, field, shall we say. It really has a lovely, lovely feel to it. I don't know if you can see this very well, but although I'm looking as I move around it, what you'll see is that there is a lovely, like, centre, old school kind of like glass glow to it. Can if I just put the mouse over there look it goes up and it goes down especially on mobile you can really get a sense that you're actually looking through some kind of old-fashioned telescope to look at this and I think that's a really good you can actually see the glow there look there's an arch going all the way round is this center oval which is is you know quite a fantastic thing the way they've done it I know I've got these white um, bars at the bottom maybe because I'm the the owner of it uh, then we can go inside to one of the trails and one I particularly like is this nice shaped tree there, which is really good for uh, photography and stuff. Then you can go out to, um, what's that do? That, that button, upload a 3D model. Whoa, interesting. I don't have any 3D models, but I can easily make them interesting, interesting stuff. So that's another one, uh, which is quite a, a hilly thing to stand on because you're standing there and then you're half falling down the, the little slope, but you can actually see I wheel mouse it in oh, I thought I could actually get in closer to that uh, tell you what let, let's finish all this because I think for me I would say it's a success and uh, in other words using this new poly tour creator which is pretty cool Th this field is especially a highlight for me because a few years ago this was a junior in other words a children's football pitches and it wasn't that used that much and I think the the authorities have sort of said hey you know let's just give it back to nature and what we have here is an incredibly pretty uh, meadow which I really really like going to because it's just nature's king it just comes along and just reclaims everything and click in the little i button bottom left it's exactly what i've just said to you which um it was a football pitch now it isn't if i click once that should disappear that's pretty much it. it you can like it you can share it you can edit it what's this three buttons on the bottom right doing before i finish here oh delete it no, i don't want to do that let me share the link to this poly tour creator in the um YouTube description and we'll see how we get on but I think with a, with a careful thought let's be honest if it is a proper uh, classroom exercise you could get very very detailed in this and so just to sum up then what we've we've done in terms of the eight I might as well show you from the satellite is I've come in for mousing number one then I've gone for number two number three down here then I went off to number four which was down here number five was inside number six was along there Number seven was over here on this football pitch. And then number eight was the reclaimed, which you can still see from the air that it looks like it's a football pitch. It actually is, and it's a wildflower meadow. And then if you, in case you want to get back into the 18th century, then down here is the original Springfield Hall. And these barns to the left here have been um, sort of, I don't know what happened to them, but they've been like that as a thing for a long, long time. Okay, uh, that was tour creator wasn't it I think yeah okay bye bye